as we've been dealing with insulin for, for you know, almost 100 years and now injectable peptides like GLP-1s, we know the injection barrier is a burden. And in particular for patients to go on injection, that's a huge hurdle, but also even providers and primary care providers in particular, the time it takes, the comfort level starting injections is a big barrier. And we see that in the fact that, that there really is not the, uh, the level of prescribing and, and use of GLP-1s that you would expect based on their profile and, and place in therapy in the, in the guidelines. So our goal and our, our hope with this program is that, again, we would really open up GLP-1 use and the benefits benefits of that and, and A1C and weight and, uh, and convenience, in fact, you know, in an oral th therapy that, again, patients could benefit from, that hopefully primary care physicians are going to be much more comfortable starting and prescribing, uh, and again, that, that would open up significantly the, the numbers of patients that could benefit from the therapy. So the next steps are certainly we are working with the FDA to go through the multiple filings, as, as you reported on the, uh, the diabetes filing, we did use our priority review voucher. So we're looking at a potentially a, a mid-September answer, and it's never a guarantee. So we're going to work with them and, and make sure that uh, we uh, give them any data they need. Uh, and then for the, the um, cardiovascular filings, those are the standard SNDA filings that go up to uh, a year. So we're going to continue to work with them on, on looking at semaglutide as a molecule, how it looks uh, in regards to cardiovascular benefits. So looking at both injectable Ozempic uh, for a CV indication, but also the oral, in, uh, oral semaglutide for CV indication. So we have a lot going on with FDA and we're hopeful that that's going to mean good news uh, sometime this year and then early next year for even the cardiovascular answer as well.